welcome to Fishing, Foraging and Outdoor Adventure. Today's video is a follow up from uh, yesterday when I was out on the kayak. Uh, I've caught um, a good amount of mackerel. Uh, I've frozen down uh, about 30 mackerel for uh, winter, uh, winter fishing using as bait. Uh, the rest I'm going to show you how to hot smoke. That is a nice sized mackerel. He's going to make a fantastic eagle later. Literally drop this in five seconds. So the first thing you need to do when you're smoking any fish is you need to prepare it properly. So uh, don't use fresh water to rinse them off. Always uh, gut them or fill up them uh, in the water where you are. I'm going to put them in uh, a brine solution, which is uh, salt water. So all these are going to go uh, go in. I'm going to layer them in, in a bowl and put some salt across the layer. And put some more in. More salt. Salt. Okay, so I've covered that bowl with just enough water to uh, just to cover the pellets, and just to make sure, put some extra salt in. All this is going to wash off the fish, so it's not going to be, it's not going to ruin the flavour of the fish. So let's just uh, just to uh, salt to soak it in this brine solution, just to draw out some of the moisture from the fish. Okay, so I'll leave that in there for about an hour or so and then we're going to start uh, smoking the fish. Okay, so this is uh, the hot smoker that I'm going to use. Uh, just to uh, be clear, hot smoking is a, a totally different process to cold smoking. Uh, this hot smoking process has got burners at the bottom. These burners are what, uh, what takes the uh, methylated spirits. So they, they go into these two burners down here. These burners heat up the bottom of this big cooking tray. Um, in here, uh, and then the bottom of this tray, we put a really thin layer of, uh, of wood chippings. So in this one, we've got these um, oat, oat smoke chips. So we're English oak dust that is. Uh, and the bottom of the tray then uh, heats up uh, just enough to smolder that um, uh, that that oak dust. The tray inside then this all. Uh, fills full of smoke. We've got a little vent at the bottom of this, a little vent at the top uh, that draws the air through, and that smoke just uh, there's a bit of a throughput, a small amount of oxygen, which gives you quite a, a lot of smoke. And we're going to cook two trays full of mackerel. So, in first with uh, the methylated spirits, these are for uh, putting out the, uh, the flames at the end. So, you take them off, you open, a, uh, open your bottle. You only need a small amount of this methylated spirits. Uh, a, a full uh, burner of these would last uh, about an hour and a half. I'm only going to need to um, smoke these for about 20 to 25 minutes. So uh, just a small amount in here. Okay, so only about a quarter or half fill those. Now with the bottom of this tray, I'm just going to apply uh, about uh, one to two centimetres worth of, um, of dust to the bottom of this tray. A little bit goes a long way on this, so don't think by putting uh, a, lot of, a lot of sawdust in there you're going to get any more smoke. It doesn't work like that. So get that, spread it nice and thin on the bottom, and we just get a little thin layer out of oak dust. A tiny bit more. Okay, on top of that um, dust now, we put a bit of a protective cover, so that stops the heat rising straight through and, uh, and cooking the fish. Uh, it's not heat we want, 
uh, to cook this. It's even though it's a hot smoke, we want it to, uh, to keep the temperature as low as we can. So this is a bit of a heat shield, and then it goes and sits just on top of the uh, the oak dust. Okay, so I'm going to put all these fish now, uh, lay them out onto the racks and put them skin side down because that skin will uh, help protect them and it'll stop all the flesh from peeling off if it was to stick to the bars. Okay, so we can pat them dry now uh, with a bit of kitchen towel or you can just leave them on the trays uh, to dry off for 10 minutes. Okay, so these two trays of mackerel, we've had 10 minutes or so to dry off. But you can see the, these are really fresh, uh, really important uh, that you don't use mackerel that's uh, not at it, its absolute best. Uh, you'd only want to be smoking uh, and eating uh, real good quality fresh mackerel. I wouldn't go getting something from the supermarket that you don't know how long it's uh, been caught for. Uh, this is only about 12 hours uh, since it was caught, so uh, it's going to be absolute perfect condition. What we do, take these now. Okay, so they're lit now. You want to control uh, the, uh, the amount of air that you're letting in with the vents on it. I want it on about a medium rate, so uh, we'll put these half open and then you start to build it back up so tray uh, with the, the, the wood dust in it goes on top the bottom tray and the top tray On. Again, you got a, uh, a valve here at the top to uh, control the flow. Uh, that's just a smoke, so I'm going to leave that open. Flip it tight, and then we leave that for. About, uh, I'm going to leave that uh, for about 20 minutes. I want to make sure it's cooked uh, and smoked throughout. Uh, depending on how big your fish is, depends on how long you want to leave it. If you want to do a whole fish, uh, you know, uh, two to three pound, that might like it's going to be really thick. It's going to take a long time to cook through. Uh, this, uh, the the amount of smoke it's going to take to penetrate through a fillet that's only about half an inch thick uh, is really isn't going to take long. So, 20 minutes uh, should do just fine on that. Okay, so it's time to see how this cooked. The moment of truth, so to speak. Oh, look at that. How nice is all that? Still smoking away there. Lovely. If you can smell that now, it's absolutely delicious. That oaky smell from the oak, um, from oak dust. Absolutely gorgeous, and you can see these these fish now cut all the way through. Absolutely perfect, fall into pieces exactly how you want it. So this is perfectly cooked now. Uh, don't overcook fish. Fish is uh, one of one of the easiest foods to uh, to overcook. So literally, this that was 25 minutes there on a really low heat. I only put a small amount of oil uh, in this um, smoker. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to um, take all these out. I've got a few strips of uh, greaseproof grease -proof paper. And I wrap these up individually. You can see they haven't even stuck to the tray because they've been cooked at such low heats. Fall into pieces because it's so moist. Ooh. I'm just going to put them in a layer at a time. Uh, in a tray. Look at that, absolutely perfect. And I keep 
keep this big one sweet now. Okay, so there we have it. We got two boxes there of uh, mackerel, smoked mackerel fillets. You can see how deliciously uh, smoked they are. Nice, that nice golden colour to them. Uh, absolutely gorgeous. So these two boxes here, they're gonna go in the fridge. I'm gonna eat them over the next two or three days. On like that. All individually wrapped. But these ones are for me sweet now. Absolutely prime, fresh as you can get. Gorgeous smoked mackerel. They're delicious. So I won't be afraid to eat the skin. I I I eat it with skin on. I absolutely love it. So mm. That really is delicious, that's absolutely gorgeous. It tastes nothing like what you buy in the shops. That smokiness, there's no chemicals involved like uh, you do on some smoke, or what claims to be smoked fish from the shops. That is proper oat smoked um, fresh mackerel, absolutely delicious. So I hope you enjoyed watching that video on uh, smoking mackerel. Uh, if you haven't already watched it, uh, watch my uh, previous video on how I caught this on the kayak yesterday. And uh, also you'll see how you don't need to eat, uh, actually cook mackerel at all. Uh, how you can eat mackerel raw, which I demonstrated yesterday on the kayak as I was catching it. So um, thanks for watching the video. Uh, hit the subscribe button, you'll see all my uh, latest videos. Uh, and thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.